My name is Brandon Coltis. Hail from Lubbock, Texas, and uh, I'm a two degree here at the United States Air Force Academy. I'm a systems engineering major uh, with a focus in aero. Uh, my name is David Gonzalez. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm the oldest of four boys. Um, yeah, I'm a political science major here. I'm Sean Zacherson. I'm from uh, Grand Lake, Michigan. It's right here on the mitten. I am an econ major. Uh, so for ops, Air Force, I went to um, Elmendorf, which is in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, got to go with a couple of my friends, so that was, that was pretty awesome. Uh, got to see the, the last frontier, is what they like to call it. So our plan was we were, um, we were going to go fishing uh, on a charter, and we, we caught some salmon and halibut, which was really cool. Um, and that day uh, we were, so we also planned on going kayaking too. Driving along a, a dirt road to Miller's Landing, and um, I, I was driving, um, and it was Brandon, my, uh, my friend Brandon Coltis, uh, Sean Zacherson, and Koji Kobayashi. And uh, we were just heading down this dirt road, uh, just really not thinking about <clears throat> anything except for having fun. Uh, and this car came flying, flying out from uh, the other side. And it was kind of a sketchy dirt road because you had the, the ocean on one side and then the mountains on the other. So um, there wasn't any guardrails or anything. Um, and they were losing control. Um, and I, I didn't really think of much. I was I just kind of pulled over. I was going to wait for them to pass. I thought they were just messing around, having fun or something. Um, and then they overcorrected and the back tire caught the edge of the cliff, flipped over and went straight into the water. Sean was out of the car while it was still rolling and uh, he was the first one there and so he jumped in the ocean. I was thinking I climbed down into the cliff and then I got in the water um, and then I stood there for like, it seemed like a minute, but it was probably like five to ten seconds and I was like, okay, what do I actually do? <laughs> like, so we, we, take, we take SABC and it prepares you like, okay, if someone has a broken neck or they're not breathing, what do you do when someone's upside down in a car submerged underwater? She was only under the water for like a minute or two. Um, and she swam out of the window uh, while he was like trying to get the, the car door open. Um, he helped pull her out and got her to the, the, the side of the, the cliff. Um, me and Brandon were there, helped pull her out too. After about five minutes, we, as she was getting up on the cliff, there was another uh, family with an RV came by. They, uh, they had some blankets and some towels that we were able to use to keep, to keep, get her nice and warm because she was in the ocean, which is very cold up north in Alaska. I, I always had like that desire to help people. And uh, being in the military was one of those ways that I could do that. I think just the mentality you have here um, and the training that you have prepares you for those situations. Honestly, I just acted. I, there's no motive. It's just... I just did it. I think any one of us would have done it. It's just we were there at the right time. Just that helpful atmosphere and helpful environment really uh, is something that you saw for breeds and uh, just makes me real proud to be a cadet.